corazón. Workshops once in a while in the UK, especially up in Scandinavia, and they always ask where does inspiration come from, and sometimes it's that simple, like we just hit two different chords completely by accident at the same time, and you can just riff off of stuff like that. So anybody out there that's like in the creative zone and you feel like stagnant, uh, just know that you can beat beat that yeah. any kind of writer's block. You have, to be, you have to be willing to be brave though, because you've got to be willing to make horrible sounds in order to make nice ones. Yeah, or sing about grow my hair out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm stealing that. <laughs> this is a song that um, I was writing while Taiketo was still going and on tour, and uh, it um, it didn't quite make it on any of our albums, but it did end up making it on my first solo album, which is called Soldiers and Sailors on Riverside. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I like it too. Um, as a New Yorker, uh, New Yorkers and uh, Los Angeles and whatever they're called, West Los Angelinos, Los Angelinos, we don't generally get along. It's two, two very different lifestyles. Los Angeles is a great place. It's like Liverpool and Manchester. Oh yeah, With, without the football problem. Yeah. yeah. Um, so um, when, of course, when we were all in the heyday, you know, 80s and 90s, you had to end up in LA, you had to record there, you had to work there. And it was, it was amazingly impressive. I am not making this up. I mean, drove in one of the days we were going to the studio, which, by the way, was one of the biggest studios in the world. We recorded uh, the first uh, couple of weeks at uh, A&M Studios, which is the same room they recorded We Are the World in. Remember all those people singing around singing? Ted Nugent used to practice his archery in there. That's how big it was. You know? um, I don't and, like him. Yeah. Well, yeah. I used uh, to love him. I grew up with all his records. Then he became a Republican. Then, well, then he just started talking and that was what it all went. Animal killer. Yeah. So, um, Anyway, so you you do things like you'd go to get petrol and you'd step out and you'd be at the pump and John Bon Jovi's doing his car at the other pump. And it's just, it's not a real place, you know? Um, so I would sort of take breaks from recording because it, it, it has such beautiful areas and I would drive up into the, the tops of, of the ridges over the canyons. And when you look down on it, it looks so inviting and so wonderful and then you get in there and you know it's just kind of all the dirt that's going on. So it's a song I wrote about that. It's called Shadowland. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yes, I'm